Hello everyone, this is Toma from tomabonchu.com and I'm coming back with another tutorial in Photoshop. This is the first tutorial in a long series, I hope, of really short tutorials where I show you how to use the different tools of Photoshop because it's very easy to learn what a tool does, but what that tool is used for is much more complicated and the situations can be really uh, diverse. Now what I'm going to show you is a really simple method that sometimes work and sometimes not but it's uh, it's up to you to try and figure out what, uh, what images are best suited for this method. So this method is for replacing the sky. We have this photo is a uh, it's it's an early sunrise in Tuscany and I'm shooting against the, the, the sun unfortunately I have no clouds in the sky and the photo uh, is um, it's not it, it's interesting but it's not that interesting and I'm uh, I'm hoping here for a silhouette and here a much more interesting sky fortunately for me uh, in another morning I saw this sky but I wasn't in that location. So what I want is use the move tool and shift drag this uh, image over here. Okay, control T for free transform. Scale it down. I'm going to flip it on horizontal because I know the sun was rising from this area over here. And I will place it something like this. Okay, again, this method will work on some photos and on other photos will not. Double click on your sun and I'm going to use this blend if option. Here you have different options for red, blue and green. Now I'm going to blend if red. Now this is saying to, the, to Photoshop that when you're going to encounter red in the underlying la layer make this layer on top disappear as you can see over here don't worry if this if it disappears right here we're going to fix this very easily now if you're dragging this all this slider right like this you see that it there's a lot of contrast and uh, there's there's no uh, there's no transition let's hit ok and go to 100% as you can see there is no transition so it looks it looks not that good. What you can do is split this this uh, small swatch holding down the Alt key. You can split it in two and now what you're doing is defining that transition. And take a look at the pine trees, or the cypress trees. Yes, you see that is the transition. Hit OK. Do a quick insp inspection yes everything is nice unfortunately you have this problem over here it tried to blend also this area but it didn't work that good so what you're going to do is duplicate this layer by dragging on new layer dragging this layer on a new layer create a copy or you can use Control J to duplicate it double click on it and you're going to cancel this modification this blending hit OK, create a mask and with the gradient tool uh, just do something like this and now you've also fixed this, this area over here the main problem when replacing the sky is doing this uh, blending in the horizon but as you can see this um, this method works very well as i said in in some situation works in others not now what i'm going to do uh, finally is using a curves to further increase the the contrast now the result is a perfect silhouette over here if you don't want to have the, this perfect silhouette you can um, for example this is the representation of this area over here so you can rise it up a little bit or you can um, create in the mask another use the gradient again 
and <coughs> make the, the contrast appear only in the sky. There are lots of things that you can do. Or you can use this method again and decide let it on blend if gray and decide to remove it from the black areas. And now you have the contrast only in the sky. So uh, this blend if method it's really powerful, and um, you can use it if you uh, if you understood how. Now, um, as I said, this is the first on a long series of short videos where I show you how to apply the tools of Photoshop uh, in different uh, in different practical in real situations from the life of a t uh, in the life of a photographer. Okay. Uh, in the end, uh, keep on subscribing to this YouTube channel, keep on sharing my YouTube channel with your friends, uh, especially if you have friends that are passionate about photography, there are lots of free videos that are coming, and keep on photographing is the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.